heavy. Bored. Worst moment, my worst workshop moment was definitely that first one. I've also had, um, I've been plagiarized in workshops before, which really fucking sucks. Like there's this one MFA woman. level? Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Did the, did the well, workshop instructor call it out or? The first time, yes. The first time it was in a poetry workshop and the instructor did call it out. Um, and I think it might have been by mistake the first time, like with this person. Like, I think it might have been that she read my thing and liked it. You know, this happens. Like, right. I definitely do that where I've read someone's work and, you know, you get the rhythm of it in your head and like whatever. But the second time it was very explicit. And um, it was that was for the prose workshop. So the the memoir class. And the person who plagiarized me was like definitely more well connected than me. Like, is gonna get, have a much easier job getting her book published than I am. And like, plagiarized me basically verbatim. I asked her about it after, and she claimed that she loved my work so much that she was like using it as inspiration. But like she thought she changed it enough. And I'm like, girl, you can't do that. You can't just paste someone's work and change like two words. You can't you can't even just do that and change all the words. Like, I'm sorry, write your own shit. So I feel very uncomfortable with that. She claims that she like got rid of that part of her piece, but I don't believe her. And if if I find her novel like in the wild in like a year, I'm gonna be like seething if I see that it's still like that. So yeah. I that reminds me of some controversy that was a couple of years ago, right? Didn't somebody publish a poem that was like straight plagiarizing and then like the writer saw it and like called it out yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. It was like yeah. a huge blow up and that girl got like all kinds of shit because yes. then if you're it, publishing it, I, it I, yeah. I didn't know about any of this actually until my thing happened. And I started Googling what happens if someone plagiarizes you in workshop. And that's why I found out all about that. <laughs> it's incredible. I had a, we had a, one of my, uh, colleagues in the MFA, he did something similar, not quite uh, that egregious, but he took a very famous poem and he put like two verses of it, basically verbatim into his poem. And my instructor like saw it right away and was just like, okay, like this is technically you're submitting plagiarized work because you didn't mention it in like an epigraph. You didn't mention anything of how like, oh, this is in conversation with your poem, this poem or whatever, because you can get away with that, you know, but it's fucking, it better be, you know, cited, I guess, at least, especially if you're trying to publish it, like with an epigraph or whatever it is, just be like after so-and-so's poem right, or whatever, right. that's enough. And you wouldn't have had an issue. But since you didn't do that, everyone's like, well, <laughs> you're plagiarizing this famous poem. Like, what are you talking about? And it was definitely not a parody, but my worst. No. Resources. shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Bored. I, I aspire to boredom, I should say. Bored. Heavy. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. Bored. Has you the night sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.